Hello and welcome to my F123 My Team Lamborghini Prix mode. Here today for part 39 for the Canadian Grand Prix. We come into this race off the back of not a very good Spanish Grand Prix. So we're looking to get back to farm and we do that with a pole position alongside Charles Leclerc. Then it's George and Schumacher strolling Lando Norris, Piastri and Alonso, Hamilton and Verstappen running out the top 10. Sonoda and Gasly, Bottas and Sainz, Albon and Joe, Ocon and Magnussen, Fittipaldi and Liam Lawson, and Nick DeFries and Logan Sargent rounding out the grid. So then, the strategy for the Grand Prix is a pretty easy one stop starting on the soft going to mediums. You can see now our pole lap in qualifying, very good lap indeed. And let's see if we can convert that to a win. We won here last season, can we make it back to back? And it's lights out, down and away we go. And we cover off Charles Leclerc into the first corner we go. And Leclerc didn't get the best to start, so we're giving behind for now. Coming out of turn, what, turn for three now. And up towards turn four, Leclerc can't find a way through on us. As we go through the first again and towards the second sector. Now, going into the final sector now, we've gone a little bit wide. Charles Leclerc has a go to the inside of us, we squeeze him right to the inside, we chop him off, Leclerc goes straight on, last stroke turns into the side of him, George finds a way through, and they part ways, three into one, does not go, and it didn't then, Leclerc and last stroke making contact, Stroll now going back at George Russell, he re over to Leclerc, drama at the airpin on the opening lap, We've pulled a nice gap now because of that. And George has gained two places. And it's now Stroll trying to go down the inside into turn one. Back on George Russell. Now has the outside line. Can't get the exit on the Mercedes. Schumacher has gained some places as well at the start. This is Lewis Hamilton. A bit further back. And the engine has gone in that Mercedes. As now they're all queuing up to try and find a way through this again. But Hamilton is off and out of the Canadian Grand Prix. Now this is Albon on the back of Max Verstappen. And his engine's gone as well. Two Mercedes engines going up in two laps in this race. And that can raise concerns over us because we are supplied by Mercedes in this career mode so hopefully we can get to the end and that doesn't spread to our car but we pulled the gap on George we were just managing the pace George can live with our pace he's actually started on the hards so he's going longer as at the end of lap 15 we are going to box to make our one and only stop of the day how far will George go on those hards he could be very quick at the end if he got onto the softs and just takes those hard tyres as far as he can but I don't think AI are that smart but we be boxed out for the mediums we're going to come out in a lovely little gap behind our teammate Michael Schumacher and miles ahead of Lance Stroll behind us now though when does George box and he only goes Three more laps than we did. Surely those hard tyres can go further. But, I don't know, Mercedes seem to know what they're doing. And he goes on to the mediums now to get him to the end of the Grand Prix. We have already gone up the road. We've already passed him. You might have just seen us go past. You can see us there. Just coming out of turn three. And there's a big gap behind George to Piastri and now hopefully we can manage the pace and that is exactly what we did with the gap is staying around three to four seconds as we win the Canadian Grand Prix George zone for P2 and who was going to get P3 Schumacher right on the back of Piastri but Piastri is just going to beat him 
So we win then back to winning ways after the bowl job that was Spain. George just couldn't live with our pace. The gap staying around three to four seconds and Piastri just beating Schumacher to the line then. But that was a good race. So I know there weren't much highlights but we were just driving around on our own. So then the championship is heating up. So we've actually jumped Lewis Hamilton now after him scoring no points into P2. We now have 96 points. Hamilton 94. George now has 123 points but the gap between us and him has dropped to 27 points. In terms of the constructors, Mercedes now have 218 points and us after our win, fastest lap and P4 for Schumacher means we have 141 points and the gap now is 77 points in the championship. If you're wondering why there's no podium in the constructors and championships, it's because this happened in the race. We had this really odd glitch where we got soft lock into the um, replay cameras and we couldn't get out of it. We were just stuck like this. So we had to restart the race, re-record it, and then the footage for that decided to corrupt. So we've only got the replay cameras to go off of. It will be fixed for the next time out in Silverstone, our home Grand Prix. Hopefully though we can continue this form because at the championship we need to find some form if we want to keep the number one on our car. I'll see you at Silverstone. Goodbye.